Hello comrades, this is Shetty here, and as you guys can tell by the title, inside today's video, I'm going to be going over my thoughts on Watchmen Season 1, Episode 1, so let's get right into it. So for me, there was a lot of anticipation going into the premiere of this pilot. Watchmen is an awesome graphic novel. Personally, it's one of my favorites, and the 2009 movie is also great. Although the trailers were pretty good, I was somewhat skeptical going into this because, as many of you know, this isn't a direct adaptation of the original story. It more so serves as a sequel or continuation of what the graphic novel set up, and I didn't really like that at first whenever I first heard of it, but the trailers did somewhat win me over, and this probably doesn't come to a surprise to any of you, but I love this first episode. So first, I gotta start it with the cast. Regina King was great as Sister Knight. Tim Blake Nelson was also really good as Looking Glass. I really like his character so far, and I can't wait to see what they're gonna do with him later on in the season. I also did like Don, Don Johnson's character, but I was really surprised with what they did with him at the end of the episode, and I'll get into that more towards the end of the video, so do stay tuned for that, obviously. And I thought Jeremy Irons was pretty good as this older version of Ozymandias. But easily my favorite part of this first episode is the story. I think the world that they set up is really interesting. It's very much different from ours. And I thought they did a really good job of explaining how exactly everything works. And I think the conflict between the 7th Cavalry and, you know, the police and the vigilantes is really interesting. And I can't wait to see that explored later on down the season. With this episode, they also set up a lot of things, obviously. Um, like the squids falling from the sky. What exactly is that? I think it possibly could be connected to Ozymandias because many people are wondering what exactly this would take inspiration from because in the graphic novel with Ozymandias' plan, he drops this massive squid that destroys everything, but in the film, it's this sort of explosion that's meant to look like it's from Dr. Manhattan. And I think it's interesting to see, I thought it would be interesting to see what they would do with it. And I think most likely they're sticking to the graphic novel and I think that's what they're referencing. And I'm interested to see why exactly he's doing this. Also in the trailer we do get to see a pretty cool moment of Dr. Manhattan, I mean not in the trailer, sorry in the episode. We get to see a pretty cool moment of Dr. Manhattan, we see him on Mars, it's like a live feed destroying stuff and creating stuff. Which is different to the film, obviously, because in the film, he goes off to another universe. He doesn't stay near ours. He's on Mars in this series, so he is pretty close. So that's pro. I think something is most likely going to go down. That's the reason why he's going to return. And I don't think he's going to be a big part of the series. I think he's most likely just going to come back in, like, the final episode. And I'm pretty sure they said they're not going to do season two, which I think is probably for the best, in my opinion. Although I do really love the series so far from what we've seen. And the ending was awesome. I didn't expect them to kill off Don Johnson's character, and I'm interested to see what exactly they're going to do from there and how exactly they're going to explain it, because I think there's definitely more to it. A lot of people were complaining about how political this is, but I don't really see a problem with it because the original graphic novel is also political, so it would make sense that this series that is a continuation of the story from the graphic novel would be political. It's not like political in your face, but it definitely does have some political undertones, and I honestly don't really see a problem with that. And overall, I really love this first episode of Watchmen. I can't wait to see the rest of the series. I think it's awesome. I can't wait to see what DC is going to do in the future. Personally, I think 2019 has been DC's best year. We had Joker, Watchmen, The Boys, so many cool stuff that has come out, and I just can't wait to see what exactly they're going to do in the future. And I am going to be doing videos each week on each episode. That's what I plan to do, so do stay tuned for that. And the episodes will be coming out a lot sooner, probably like the day after the episode airs. The video will come out talking about the episode, so do stay tuned for that. And yeah, guys, that is my thoughts on Watchmen Season 1, Episode 1. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and turn that post notification bell. And I will see you guys in my next one. This is Chase on Off. Peace out. <laughs>